In this tutorial, we will be going over the academic report. You should have completed another report at this time, but the academic report requires a little more formatting. So you will see that you are already going to start working with uh, double spacing. That's what DES stands for. Um, so you want to really make sure you look over these basic parts of, a, of an academic report. You want to make sure you go over 34F and read through how to do an academic report. And also 34G talks about lists that you will work with in an academic report. So our assignment is uh, Report 34-7, which is on page 124 of your textbook. Page 123 is an excellent reference uh, resource. And page 62 in your manual, uh, Word manual, is also an excellent reference for this assignment. So I'm going to start work. going to enable editing and you will see the first thing they tell you to do in this assignment is to hit enter five single spaces so one two three four five again you want to make sure your formatting marks are on up in this paragraph group this backward looking P and then I'm going to uh, put my alignment right now it's on left alignment I want to center it because my title is centered and I'm going to start typing in my assignment. And I want to make sure we spell it right. Okay. Now, you will see it wants me to hit enter, but it has a DS, so double space. So we need to change our spacing. So we want to come up in the paragraph group and change your spacing to two. So now when I hit enter, I have an extra space. So now you will see that, uh, just to save some time, I'm going to put in some of the document here. And you are going to see that anytime I hit enter, I'm going to have this extra space. When I hit enter here, I want to make sure I hit tab and also come up to this paragraph group and hit left alignment. I'm going to, again, just hit enter here, enter here with tab, enter here, tab, highlight, and make sure you go up in the font group and hit B for bold. Then when I get to this section, after I hit enter, I'm going to come up here, and this is a list. So you want to make sure up in the paragraph group that your one, two, three, that your list is on, and it's going to number for you one, and then once you finish typing in number one, you'll hit enter, and it'll automatically put in number two. So now when you're done with that, you want to hit enter, but you're done with your list, so you're going to click on that numbering and you want to continue to type on in your next section you want to make sure you hit tab so you're in line here with this talk about and you're going to continue on with ask questions about others and then it's really important that when you finish typing this that it word wraps Just, you want to make sure it's lining up over here and not right under ask. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to go steal over here. I'm just going to steal this assignment. So now here is my complete assignment. I'm happy with it. I'm going to make sure I have it saved in my file with everything else. And now I'm going to go turn it in. That's my other copy. I'm just not going to save that for now. I'm going to, again, find my assignment that I just completed. I'm going to submit it and see how I did. Okay, and I have one error, one keystroke error, and that is I misspelled the word try. So again, if you did have any problems with spacing, it's going to show you either by this T means you had a spacing with tab. So now I'm going to go out and I can click edit and I'm going to pull up my 
before. Again, it's usually smart enough to pull up the last one you did. And I'm going to go down and, and find where I misspelled the word try, and here it is. So I'm going to enable the editing. Come down here. Now I'm going to resave it, and it'll save it for me with 3471. I'm going to make sure it's under my folder with everything else. And I'm going to get out of here. And that's my last one, so that one we don't want to look at. I want to make sure I put my new one in. And I'm going to submit that one. And hopefully I will see zero errors. Yay! It's ready for my instructor to see.